All right, I decided I would show you all a little bit easier with a uh, diagram here. This is our GOES 18. We'll call it GOES 18 right here. And let's say this is our GOES 19. They're geostationary over two parts of the globe. Let's say it's right here. And I'll try to draw it there. What is that? Not bad, right? So, what happens? Well, let's say, and we can pick any direction we want to. Let's say the sun's in that direction. That direction there, okay? So, obviously, when goes 18 is over here, you can have a perfect picture of it. But as the globe rotates 360 degrees, it's going to stay stationary over that same 37 degree uh, longitude, and it's going to end up around here. That's why we're seeing Earth from goes 19 here. But they're both at the same height over the equator, both being 22,300 feet and both geostationary. So why when goes 18 gets behind, behind Earth from the sun, do we not see Earth? When Earth should be 22,300 miles away, we should see Earth just like we do from GOES-19 right here, which is all the fun and dancing we're seeing lately. Now, why have we never seen it from GOES-18 when it's in the same 22,300-foot orbit? It's geostationary. One of them's at 137 degrees longitude. One of them at 37 degrees longitude. And again, the globe is spinning 360 degrees every day. So at some point, they have to get behind Earth, which does explain why we're seeing Earth. Well, it doesn't explain why we see it dance back and forth, but it does explain why we see Earth from our new GOES-19 core one. But it sure doesn't explain why we never have seen it from GOES 18 core 1, and it's always been perfect. And I'll show you all. Let's say this is 19 and this is 18, what I mean. And their orbit, they tell us, sure doesn't explain how Earth could actually switch directions either, does it? Remember, it's spinning. And then some of it's lit up, i.e., Facing Earth, they're calling it Earth shine. Earth shine, come on. And then all of a sudden it gets dark right here. And we have hours of time unusable. That spin, well, obviously wouldn't show this. We would see Earth go by, go by as the satellite went by. But we sure wouldn't see it turn around too. Yesterday it turned around one way and then turned around a third way. Completely ridiculous. I want anyone that thinks they can to explain this to me. And get ready because we've got some meteors on the way, as y'all can see right about here. God bless, folks. Don't let them shut down. Core 1 goes 18. And if Core goes 18, Core 1 is geostationary and is and does go behind earth why is it eclipsed by earth and why don't we see earth like we do on this one if they're both exactly 22,300 miles from the equator orbiting over the same portion of earth i.e geostationary hopefully that was a little bit better explanation god bless any answers are greatly appreciated Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.